What's up guys, I'm Nathonis here with another Dragon Age Inquisition video. Today I want to talk to you guys about masterwork crafting, and specifically which masterwork materials are the best and on which characters you should use them. As you probably know, uh, masterworks are those special materials that you can put in your crafted items for powerful bonuses and effects. For example, this bow has a Hidden Blades masterwork, which gives me a 10% chance to cast Hidden Blades whenever I attack, and it looks like this. So considering that there are over a hundred masterwork materials in the game, choosing the best ones can be quite difficult. This is why, after much testing and research, I have come up with my list of top 5 masterworks. So let's get right into it. Number 1. Fade Touch Silverite. Uh, this masterwork generates 5 guard whenever you attack, including spells. And there's no question that this is the best masterwork item in the game. It provides your characters with a huge survivability boost and is especially useful for reaver warriors and dual wield rogues as they tend to take a lot of damage and die rather quickly. In this example I'm using Iron Bull and as you can see he's staying alive really well despite being low health all thanks to this one masterwork. So if you have any party members that are always using up all of your potions and dying then crafting them an armor or a weapon with Faith Touch Silverite on it is a good idea. As for where you can farm it, uh, it has a small chance to drop from normal silverite ore deposits. Uh, so the best place that I found is in the dragon area in a priest Julian, around the Highland Ravager dragon in particular, and also slightly to the south of that. You can either save the game before you loot the silverite and then reload until you get a fate touched version, or travel to another world area and then come back and the silverite will respawn. Moving on to number 2, fate touched plush Faustian Velvet. Uh, this masterwork gives you a 10% chance to cast Hidden Blades on hit for a total of 5 attacks, and this is arguably the best and most fun masterwork for pure DPS, giving you roughly 500% weapon damage whenever it procs. This effect is vastly superior to other spell proc masterworks, not to mention it looks really cool. This masterwork is best used by characters with high attack speed or abilities that cause you to attack multiple times, like the Mage's Energy Barrage, allowing you to frequently activate the effect. You can farm this masterwork from Red Templars in the Hissing Wastes or in a Priest de Leon. Number 3, Fate Touched Bloodstone. Uh, this masterwork gives you 7.5% extra damage per each enemy within 8 meters. And despite being a tier 2 material, uh, the Fate Touched Bloodstone is actually very good because you will always have at least 7.5% extra damage whenever you fight anything. This masterwork is best used by melee characters with slow attack speed like Warriors and Night Enchanter Mages. The best place that I've found to farm Bloodstone is near the Riverwatch camp in Northwest Exalted Plains. Number 4. Fate Touched Vargas Scales. Uh, this masterwork gives you 30% bonus damage as long as you do not get hit for 5 seconds. And this masterwork is incredibly good for ranged characters since they tend to get hit a lot less than melee. I would definitely recommend putting this masterwork on an archer or a mage for a very big damage bonus. If you want to farm this masterwork, keep in mind that the item is currently bugged and doesn't actually drop from Vargas themselves. Instead, you can farm it of Gurn in the Hissing Wastes. And finally, number 5, Fate Touched Snowflur Skin. Uh, this masterwork uh, gives you a 10% chance to cast Horn of Valor, which gives you 15% bonus attack and armor for 12 seconds. And this masterwork is deceptively powerful. At first, it doesn't look like it matches up to some of the other masterworks on this list, but you have to consider the fact that it's AoE, so it can apply to your entire party. And if you put it on one character with high attack speed like a rogue, then you will have Horn of Valor up almost all of the time. The only case in which you don't want to use this masterwork is if you already have a warrior with Horn of Valor in your party. You can farm this masterwork from Snow Fleurs in Empris de Leon and the Exalted Plains. And the best spot that I found is on the frozen lake in northern Empris de Leon. There is one more masterwork that I will briefly mention, and that is the Essence of Perfection, which gives you a 10% boost to all of the stats on an item. And this masterwork may possibly be the best choice for an endgame weapon, uh, but it is difficult to tell. In any case, uh, you can only acquire one Essence of Perfection, so I would use it wisely. As a final note, uh, I should mention that the same masterwork materials do not stack. However, the same masterwork effect of a different tier does stack. So for example, 
You won't get any benefit from using two plus five guard on hit masterworks on the same character, but you will if you use plus five guard on hit and plus three guard on hit, as those two are from a different tier. So there you guys have it, uh, that's my top five list. If you disagree, let me know what worked well for you. Thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time.